Hello YouTube, my name's Widsy, and today we're back in Corpse Party, Book of Shadows. We're getting close to the end. In fact, we're almost at the end. We are... The boys' room is completely loaded. Oh, okay, that's right. That's what happened. We are finding out what's going on with the, um... The new students, the Byakuden kids. Which is cool. We, uh, we get to see some cool stuff, get to see some new characters. Hey, there's a dead girl. It's a newly deceased corpse. She seems to have been female. Student ID at her feet. Karasuyama High School, Megumi Onda. Very, very interesting. Door seems like it might just be openable. It's a bunch of dishes? What? What? Bloody prints all over them. It's a little disturbing. Dishes, huh? Doors locked up tight. Won't even bug. Sure. Okay. How do I... How do... Feel too st... Writing's partially erased, making it hard to interpret what I might have said. Um... Why does it hurt to stand, maybe? I don't know. Well, it's the best I can give. There are letters scratched in the corner of the blackboard, seemingly with fingernails. Do not trust them. They will betray you. The one who volunteered to go will betray you most sever severally. So we're talking about Yuya. Number of thick, thick books. They have titles like The Truth of Ties and... A door, a door babble enough to kill you. What in the world is the last one possibly about? Beats the shoop out of me, dude. I have no idea. Absolutely no senior inside the windows because pitch black. This window itself isn't bugging at all. Simply will not open no matter how much force is exerted upon it. That's too bad. Because, you know, we could, like, maybe break out and run. The words kill before you're killed are scribbled all across the school flyer. That's really dark, man. Like, there's a large hole in the floor. It's too... Much too large to jump. I guess we're not even going onto that side of the school just yet. And then we're gonna go down here. It's locked up tight. We have, might have to try somewhere else. That's too bad once again. Is the darkening taking effect? Yeah, it is. It's weird. Tooth. I wonder what that refer makes a reference to. Tooth. Tooth, tooth, tooth. I don't know, man. Word infirmary is written on the plate above it. Somehow the door just feel like it would be deserted. I was oddly confident about that. Not sure I felt that, to be honest. Shows anybody in there? Still haven't found Mitsuki. Didn't nearly recall back, though. Wait, was that a key sticking out of the lock? Who locked the door but left the key? What's up with that? The key's just sitting there. Man, like, we gotta... Wait. Yeah. Uh, what exactly did you plan to do with that key? I don't know, open the freaking door? Can't hang on to it, of course. Don't worry, I always catch it over a hell. I can even go higher. Pain in the ass. He's just a pain in the ass. Couldn't stand this guy. Oh well, I mean... Can we really not leave? Yeah. Got your persistent look. You're very good throwing catching. Okay, go stop already. Ceiling the place sure is high. Let's see if I can touch it, Ellie. Oops. The hell did it go? Whatever. I don't give a shit. Now the infirmary is cut off from us if we need it. Brilliant. That's what you get for being a tool. It's an exit. Now it's the goodness exit. We can finally get out of here. No, you can't. Rushed out of the door. Knowing it would not open, praying this horrid place at least show us a little mercy. Gingerly, I raised my hand, and it swung open without even the slightest hesitation. I'm I'm sorry. Unnaturally dark outside. The rain was coming so hard, peeking my head out for a few months. Let my left my uniform completely soaked. Throwing the door open even wider than its usual lack of regard for anyone around him. Closed from from soaked to drenched in a matter of seconds. If I actually walked out, I felt like I might drown. Yes, you are in a forest. It's really coming down. You'd be soaked to the bone. I wouldn't mind seeing that look on you. Yeah. Anyway, we can go back out. We know we can go outside safely now. Let's go back to Kariyama. Yeah. Despite having a found way, his demeanor hasn't changed a bit. Standing back in the hall where he could watch over us while keeping an eye out for anyone else who might happen by. Shmod, on the other hand was heavily checking me out. You guys go back if you want, but I'm leaving. I'm about to stick around this fucked up place any longer than I have to. Screw the others, I'm out of here. You're gonna die, bruh. 
Does Asla's one st 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 be yeah. who chose to stay behind? They're gonna die one by one unless they let them. Didn't think you were that callous. Yeah, you wanna come with me? Tone his voice said it all. He'd hit the ultimate low. After abandoning his friend, save his own hides, now basically propositioning me. I really don't want to see you die. You've been real precious to me for quite some time, you know. No, bro. Like, get the hell away. Obvious rehearsed and truly sickening pickup line. Really, what's the slime ball to end all slime balls? Get your eyes off me. You felt like it may have been the first time I ever truly yelled at someone. Um, yeah. Don't go getting the wrong idea. I was just trying to be nice to give you a ticket out of this hellhole. You want it? That's your loss. And he's gone. Walked over to Yuyu's side and continued past him. Yeah, like Yuyu's just kind of sitting there like, what's, uh, what's going on? Get out of my sight, you spacey bastard. Shimano drew a large knife from his breast pocket. Its tip glistened I struggled to glisten in the dull light of the room. Probably thinking it made him look more menacing. Check it out, just bought this baby yesterday. Yeah, I'm a hard ass. I have a knife. You are an amusing fellow. Ha 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 ha. That's not how he talks. I assume it is though. Does the asshole really have ten girlfriends? Yet I'm precious to him? Yeah. I was <laughs> indignant, fuming, cursing, mumbling, a fast paced walk, third floor, meet with the others. He was keeping pace with me and saying nothing at all. He was like a rock, or maybe he found me annoying. I didn't like that possibility one bit. Mentally slapped myself in the cheek. Tried to engage him in cheery banter. This guy doesn't seem like someone who actually engages in cheery banter. Hmm. I'm like a statue. Without a beard, which makes me not a man. Think about that, Yuya. I mean, I know you got a lot of women falling for you, but never once heard a single bad rumor about you. Isn't that right? His eyes did meet mine, then he went right back to the hall. I'm not sure what you mean. I want you. That's what she's saying. She's saying, I want you. So go for it, Yuya. Go for it. Do it. Do it now. Oh, must have a... Coming across as bipolar. One second, lighten the mood, small talks, compliment, then I start to feel scared at school again. Isn't anyone there? Wait, aren't we looking for her? We're looking for her. Go. Voice echoed up from below. Our friends are waiting for us above. For a moment, I wasn't sure which direction to go. So close to be foolish not to tell him what was going on before chasing after Mitsuki. Need to check in with Emmy downstairs. He doesn't really do much, does he? It's just kind of like, yep, yeah, okay, I'll do this. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. Found an exit. Come on, we have to get moving. They were all there. There was no immediacy, no urgency. Weren't even looking at me. They were fixated on his face. Oh, he died, didn't he? General heaviness in the air. What what's going on? He's getting weaker. Why won't you talk to me? God, that kid is kind of annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> but I mean, I understand because, like, you know, you really don't expect to watch your friends die in high school. No one does. No one really expects to watch their friends die. Period. Silently and unanimously agreed that our best corp course of action was to take Kadayama and bring him through the exit we discovered. Be very, very quick about it, or he really would die. You're gonna. A dude that's almost dead, you're gonna bring him into the soaking rain. I had a nagging feeling I was forgetting something. Mitsuki. We had to go find her. We couldn't just leave her here. Do you mind if I run downstairs to look for Mitsuki? He didn't even have to say anything. His eyes told me the whole story. Got it. I know I can trust you with this task, they said. That's a really, really oddly specific, uh, you know, like, something. I don't know what I was trying to think of. Um, so here we are on the second floor. Hopefully the first floor soon. 
Oh, okay, we're playing. Interesting. I'm gonna save. Um, yeah, I mean, being the end of the game, I expect there to be a good portion of talking and just all all around revelries. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be looking for. Is this is this hole gone? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, let's go find her. Okay, the exit's here. Gonna make it out of the school one way or another. Actually, we didn't actually check to see if there's anything around here. Well, there's where a corpse was. Nothing else? Okay, let's go. I hope she's not in the locker room. No, if I got this place mapped out right in my head, I'll be heading farther and farther from where we heard her voice. I should go back. Oh, okay. There's was an actual... Oh, fuck. What the hell happened to you? Half decomposed corpse. Appears to be remains of a female high, senior high school student. Seems to be loosely gripping her student ID name tag. Kurashi, Kurashiki Industry. Leona Umura. Interesting. Oh, okay. I gotta go to the second wing. Gotcha. And another corpse, of course. I mean, it's corpse party. That's what's, you know, that's what's going to happen. Lots and lots and lots of corpses. Virtually impossible to determine age and gender. Komishiro Trade School. Turu Takahashi. Ah, very, uh, very interesting. If I keep running circles on this, I'll never find her. I was in a state of panic. I was allowing it to steer my path. I forced myself to stop and turn. I was going to do what I should have done in the first place. Call it Mitsuki's name with everything I had. Hope she responded. Mitsuki! Mi That's really all you had? No answer. Just a cold lo Lonely sounds of rain and wind bearing down this old dilapidated building. If she were in this hall, I'm sure she would have heard... If she were here just minutes ago, she definitely would have been around here. Could something have happened to her? I really- I don't know. Like, I, I don't know the answers to your questions, girl. I'm sorry. Okay, how about... Door leading covered walkways frozen in place. Well, damn it. Never mind then, we're not going this way, guys. Don't worry about it. Mm hmm. Why can't I go that way? Is there like a hole there? Okay, I, I just can't go that way. That sucks. Saving. Okay, we're going back up, I guess. Ah, what's that? Is that a gut? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That is not who we want to deal with right now. That is not the ghost we want. Really? I can't go that way? Sh shoot. Okay, let's try all these rooms again. Maybe there's something different in here now. Maybe this got, like... No, okay. Oh, one of these doors did have... Nope, locked up tight. that okay I guess we gotta click on the ghost I don't want to but good god what now was a ghost sitting at the foot of the stairs how am I supposed to get back to the third floor walk right by him and just don't look at him you tool Got you. Great. I died. I don't know what I was expecting, I guess. Okay, so can I... Can I, like... Well... If I'm... Mm, Locked up tight. 
what the where the hell am I supposed to go then? Maybe I can find the key that dingus dropped. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Key. Oh, there's a body there. Name is tag sounds male, but it's hard to tell. Matsukaze Prefecture, Motohiro Suzuki. Key, 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 key. Anything with a key. I'm really surprised the corpses don't get back up. I mean, I know the whole, like, souls thing and everything, and the spirits come about and all that, but... Oh, so am, am I just supposed to leave? Oh, hi, ghosty. How was that? You just appeared in front of me. Cool. Ghosty. From looks of it, you're another victim dragged here against your will. I'll tell you now, there's no escape from the school. There's nothing to be gained here but despair. Though if you got an iron will, you might be able to survive for a little while at least. Here, you should have this. Keep the wandering spirits at bay. Oh, okay. Gave me a charm. It was a gemstone. A violet colored gem a violet colored gemstone. I guess he meant the full body ones or I would have kept him at bay too. I get back to my friends safely. Uh-huh. Of course, he also said there's no escape from here, but it was my prerogative to believe what I wanted <laughs> and ignore what I wanted. All right. Um, I'll give you that. Now it's like, hey, you can't get back to your friends. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Going to save here. Doot, doot. Okay. No. Well, eh, yeah, still got me either way. Okay. Nope, he's the amethyst. Friend made him purchase the spirit. Is that it? Actually worked. Ghost in the gem faded and disappeared. Stairwell's free to be traversed. It's kind of cool. There's someone here. I don't know. Emmy, you okay? There's like a ghost at the bottom of the stairs. Where's everyone else? We have to get caught it. Is her tongue... She wanted to tell me some words weren't coming. Is her tongue removed? Ran back to the bathrooms. Oh god, he's dead, isn't he? Or someone hung themselves? Why? Kadiyama's back on the floor right where we set him down. This whole ordeal began. Why wasn't he on your shoulders? What was going on? What are you still doing here? We need to get Kadiyama ready to go. He didn't make it. Alright, if he left, he let out a huge scream, then he just went limp. That sucks. I know what else to say. Person just died, not some stranger. Person I knew. A friend. Strangest feeling. Kept looking at him, thinking, is he really dead? Is that what a person looks like when they die? I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I apologize, but you still gotta survive. You still got to go, regardless. I don't care, you still have to go. Keep going. It's too bad. This Okawa says he isn't moving from Kadayama's side. Yeah, yeah, god damn it. This school has a great way of just taking everything you love and killing it violently and abruptly. You like to stay with Okawa on the third floor. I guess did try and break some distance and this felt real. Maybe I just didn't want to be real. Why'd this have to happen? I'm not waking up. I don't get it. Hmm. I'm not waking up. I keep trying to myself, tell myself this is all a dream, but it's not. Toko. Oh, great. They're crying now. Energy is raining, waning, sank to the ground. Emmy followed my leap and around. Her arm around me for comfort. Friend just died. Mitsuki? I mean, I looked up. We heard them coming down. It was too dark to make out who it was. Two of us slowly rose. Both terrified and curious to see who or what was coming. It was Yuya. The figure finally came into view. A tallish man, unsteadily teetering as it slowly towards Strauss. It was Shimada, drank from head to toe. He's dead, isn't he? Shimada? 
Shot forward, intending to run towards him. I grabbed her arm and held her back. She turned and looked at me with a puzzled expression. Don't tell me you... He did something to you. No. Thank goodness. Times like these especially. We really need to keep each other in the loop. Staring right into my eyes in an almost disciplinary manner. It was a perfect guilt stare. She, he's probably dead. He's probably just like walking. Dead. He's dead man walking. Shimano continued slow wet walk down the hall. He simply fell forward landing on his knees. Didn't want to see him suffer. Yeah. When other figures randomly began appearing all around him. Figures like children, blue and ethereal, shimmering with their own light. <laughs> They're all giggling and cheering and they're just going to probably be stabbing him. Barely see Shimada of a vantage point. Body was obscured by the backs of these ghost children. He wasn't moving though. It didn't seem like they were doing anything to him. But then he wasn't moving, which seemed highly suspicious. It occurred to me we should try and save him. Probably not. I inched forward. He was still in exactly the same position. Was he unconscious? Is he a zombie? I don't know. Only time will tell. Let's find out. It was a silent signal to move forward. Oh, well, there's a giant knife sticking out of him. That's probably why. Children vanished, revealing a horrific sight. Stomach been flayed wide open. He was dead. Knife he flaunted earlier was jutting from the wound. It was an entire, almost ceremonial death. I take it they both didn't take, they, uh, they didn't take it too well. What were those children? Ghosts? They still could be nearby. That, she, she has a good point. Kazami. Yu Yu, who presumably rushed down to see what was wrong, calmly walked over to his body. He's dead. He turned back to face this again, his facial expression said it all. <laughs> Everyone was dying one by one. I guess I should say have had died, but it didn't seem like it was over. There's something in here with us. Yeah. If that's not obvious by now, I don't think you're really going to be getting the hint. I was scared, paranoid, shaking, crying, screaming. <laughs> oh, hi, Sakshiko. A little girl in a red dress standing between us on the third floor staircase. I could literally feel the hatred in her eyes as she stared into our souls. Then she turned around and slid up the staircase on the third floor. That's it? That's, that's all you did, Sakshiko? What's... Eventually followed our gazes. The girl was gone. Looked different from the others. Still don't mind. No doubt in my mind she was definitely a ghost. Was it the blue ethereal glow? What do we do about Kawa? We have to go get him. We have to get out of the school. I'll go call him down. Wait. I'll come with. Could be dangerous. You wait here. What? Go. Didn't want to put me in harm, so I nodded and watched his back recede to the darkness. I really gotta watch Tortured Souls. It's okay. Pull yourself together. No weapon can pierce a calm heart. That's an interesting phrase. What's the most important thing right now? Probably not that. What was going on? Oh no, having a heated argument. We have to leave him run. We'll be caught if we don't. We can't just leave behind. We have to we have to take him to a hospital. He's dead. He can't be. God, leave him and run. We'll get caught. That ghost girl must have been pursuing them. This is bad. I'll say. I mean, shit. Save him. How'd you hear that from the floor below? What the? Murderer. Kadiyama's body sprawled unceremoniously on the landing halfway to the third floor. Top of the stairs stood Emmy in front of her Yuya. <coughs> yeah, okay. Another. Ooh, my neck. Letting out another scream came running towards me down the stairs, then seemed as if he'd fallen and broken his arm. He was lopsidedly crawling towards me. Murderer! Ran to the base stairs, meet up with Emmy, and needs some sort of context here. 
What's going on? Run, you'll be killed. Because I'm going to kick him down the stairs out of the blue. His face is shrouded in darkness. I couldn't make out any expression. All. So I wonder, I mean, he he's, he's kind of just like suicidal or homicidal from the get-go. Seen his breaking point, shot to his feet and took off behind me towards the second floor as fast as he could. Yuya kicked Okawa down the stairs. I wonder why, like, I wonder if the darkening already took him or if it does take him during the course of this. Because, I mean, we did just see, like, Yuya's story, quote-unquote, in the last chapter, so I don't know. Raising his arms, then letting him drop, wiping blood from the ears and nose, then looking at it as if studying a specimen under the microscope. <laughs> Uh, he was enjoying it. Tears began to them from my face. Get away from him. No! And then they both run off. Hopefully we meet the other kid, and then we run to the bottom, and then the doors open, and we run out, and actually I don't really know what's going to happen after that. Shimada took the key, lost it, this room's no good. We need to go farther down. Can't believe I blamed her, but something about this whole situation didn't seem right to me. I'm still not sure we need to run. We'll be capable of something like that. He really did kick on my. S it happened. Do what you want. I don't care anymore. Well, nothing to say to you. You wouldn't believe me anyway, since you're convinced I'm wrong. Well, I mean, it's too bad. I was separated from every one of my friends. What was I really in danger? I mean, was. But from you, yeah, that just didn't seem right. I didn't want it to be. I wanted to be a misunderstanding, because I loved him. He was in my heart. Then there he was, behind me. Hand with Shimada's huge knife. This definitely made matters more complicated. How could he possibly bring himself to pull a knife from his friend's lifeless corpse? I mean, if you need it, you're gonna have to pull it out. Time discussing this rationality. If I ran away now, I feel like it should be over. There should be nothing left to save. No one left to trust. Why'd you do it? Can't believe you're capable of this. Why? Why'd you do it? Unconsciously taking an accusatory tone, which is not all what I wanted. As soon as the word why slipped from me. As if the warmth and compassion I'd seen there was tapped and drained, leaving behind nothing more than an empty container. You too, huh? You're the same, the same as them. Slowly walked right past me. What's that in your hands? Thought I could put it to good use in a lot of ways. Get rid of that thing. I grabbed him by the arm, just clung to him. What? He was at a crossroads, about to walk down a path of no return. I wasn't going to lose the kind. Consider it you have let... Unfortunately, the only tools I had in my disposal were my feelings. Ow. So startled, it took me a moment before I'd even figured out what happened. It's the same in here, you know. Huh? Getting killed by this school. I couldn't focus. Or getting killed by me. Hmm, no sense of so, sign of remorse or compassion. He looked like a feudal warrior. There you are. All around my eye was throbbing. And he wasn't done with me. He got in closer, grinning unnaturally. Well. Let's test this thing out on you, shall we? You can be the first. Well. I mean, you did at least make it. I was running on pure instinct to adrenaline at this point. Shot to my feet, forced them to carry me safely. He was going to kill me. He was going to kill me! I hope not. I don't want her to die. Although we know that she does, but I still don't want her to die. Single white tooth with blood red highlights at the roots. That maniac knocked out one of my teeth. Oh, okay, so that's where the whole tooth thing comes into. My tooth. He was there, just behind me. I panicked, tripping on my feet, stumbling to the ground, landing between the first and second floor. Hopefully you didn't break your neck like, you know, a certain ghost did. I began slinking away from the encroaching figure. 
Save me, anybody. <laughs> no? Then my hand brushed across something small metallic. A key! It's the infirmary key. Shaking, I could barely hope work my fingers. I just kept trying in vain to pick up the damn key. <laughs> Scrambling to my feet, somehow slipped past you. Yeah, ran back up second floor. I had the key, I could lock myself in. I don't know if you want to do that. That's really, probably a really, really bad idea. Kazami didn't pursue. Not right away, he just stood there staring. Staring at the tooth I dropped. Intently, trying to make out what he was seeing. A tooth. Did he just eat my fucking tooth? <laughs> that was my fucking tooth, and you just ate it? Really? Do you have any consideration for my property? Even if it's technically not in my mouth anymore? Didn't seem way lock the door, need to find a hiding place. Hide in the fire pit. That would help. Scanning every inch of the room, sizing up my surroundings. Stop the medical show. Scissors. There's scissors in there. Was I going to fight? I wouldn't stand a chance. Crying is one of the best ways to reveal your position instantly. There's a ghost girl in a red dress. Urabe had run back to the bathroom. Wait, who's Urabe? Is that who Emmy is? Warno Kawa about the imminent threat. Unsurprisingly, she, he was couched on the ground, cradling Kadayama's lifeless head in his arms. If he were to leave the spot, he might have to. He'd have, we have to leave him. We'll be caught if we don't. Yeah, I guess leave him behind. We have to take our, take him to a hospital. Yeah. Well, he's dead. Rip Kadayama's body from Okawa's arms and kick him down the stairs. Made one hell of a thud and hit the landing, but he was already dead. Yeah, see, look, he's dead. Get your ass off the floor and run. Open your eyes. Kitayama is dead. We have to get out of here now. Kizami. Oh, is this like telling what actually happened? Okay, that's kind of cool. Couldn't make up her mind, which is more interesting. Why is she looking at me? Okao, on the other hand, was focused squarely on Kadayama. Murderer! Yelled like a madman ran down the stairs. Uh, he tripped and fell quite hard. <laughs> Tool. Yeah, okay, so that's what actually happened. What happened? What's going on? Okay, so we're playing- we're going from another person's point of view again. Or it's just showing the actual. I see. In here, getting killed by the school, getting killed by me. Are one and the same. We're all going to die in here anyway. Okay, so that kind of explained, like, uh, you use reasoning for all that fun stuff. Was that the end? Is that the end of Book of Shadows? Don't tell me that. What? Oh, I was gonna say. What? No! No, 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 no. That can't be the end. That's ridiculous. Well. Can I skip this, please? Please. Please, can I skip this? Number seven, clear. Prologue, blood drive is now available. Okay. It's interesting. Well, um, thank you for watching. That was Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Uh, we'll do, we'll do the, um, the prologue also afterwards. Blood drive. Yeah. Can we just do it from here? Yeah, blood drive. Okay. That's kind of cool. Like, unlocking chapters afterwards. Um... Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps you out a great deal. Subscribe if you'd like to see the prologue to Gorse Party Book of Shadows. If you like this series, let me know. Share it with a friend. Show somebody who is really squeamy, squeamish. 
and it's like gets queasy easily because you can hear like really good sounds of like death and crunching and stuff in this game it's really good anyways i'll see you in the next video bye bye